What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Adventures of TNT. I'm your host T and today is the day in which we finally wrap up our Ginger journey um, in which like I've been telling you guys this whole time Ginger is coming to my city uh, for their North American tour and I just wanted to familiarize myself with their music. So I reacted to every song on the King of Everything album. You guys can check that out on the channel in the playlist and I've given my thoughts and opinions about the song the songs uh, that they played and so far like I've said I've been thoroughly impressed with this album every single album uh, every single track on this album has been great it has exceeded my expectations um, I've learned more about the band from you guys in the comments and like I said you know I'm super excited to see this band live it, especially now I'm even more excited now because I'm familiar with their music and so the last uh, track on this album is Beggar's Dance, in which I believe the last uh, reaction video I did was Dip a Sail, uh, and the the final, or, or I'm sorry, the uh, track after that was Pisces. But of course, that was the first uh, track that that got me into Ginger. It was uh, my wife and I. We did a reaction video, in which you can check that out, in which it was our first time listening to Ginger, and it was like just opened up the floodgates for all their other content. So uh, I'm very curious of what this last song is uh, to see how they conclude the album and uh, I'm even more curious to see where my next stop with Ginger will be, which album should I listen to after this. So of course leave those down in the comments below. But let's go ahead and jump into it. This is Beggar's Dance. You can already tell this is a little different for a Ginger song. Like funky, real funky. Oh, <laughs> and it just ends abruptly. I, I, I really like that. I, I, that was different. Um, it wasn't what I was expecting uh, because, you know, of course, this has been like a, a heavier hard rock album. And, um, you know, to end it with like, I don't know what style of jazz it is, but it, it sounded very jazzy. Uh, you know, I thought that was different. And of course, you know, Tatiana, her vocals were excellent. Um, but I thought this was like, uh, this was a little different, uh, compared to the overall album. And that's one thing I have noticed with Pisces being the track before this, cause it seems like they ended the album on like a different kind of style, uh, because Pisces isn't like any other track in the album and neither is this one right here. Uh, still nonetheless, very good. Um, I really enjoyed it and I actually honestly I wouldn't mind a whole ginger album in this style It actually it sounded really good uh, But let me know what you guys thought down below and like I said this concludes my ginger journey for the king of everything Let me know down in the comments below which album I should check out next and uh, we'll go from there 
But uh, you guys, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.